Hey, so long time no see, but I've been busy. I've been busy getting rid of microplastics from my balls. And this might seem like a trivial or stupid issue, but it actually is a big thing. Microplastics are everywhere. They're in your brain, in your blood. And yeah, they're even down there. So I, I decided to start a protocol and the first thing to do was to get rid of plastic bottles with water. This was the main source that I was getting plastic into me, probably, except maybe breathing the air, but that's something that you really can't avoid. So plastic bottles were the first to go. But since I'm here in Spain, I can't modify the kitchen over there, so I can't have the reverse osmosis filter. This is why I'm actually buying bottled water in glass bottles. And I was initially thinking that it's gonna be extremely expensive, but it's actually cheaper here in Spain than it is in Poland, because this one liter bottle of water, and I don't even know what the company is, I have no idea, but it's glass. This costs 93 cents and a bottle of 0.7 liter in Poland costs about 1.2 euros. So this is really, really cheap. I'm just getting mostly those. And then on special occasions, I'm also buying this uh, Solan de Cabras water. This is the sparkling one, but I also often get the one uh, with the white cap and then it's just uh, still water. So when I'm going to the gym or going for a hike, this is the one that I take with me instead of the larger ones. And mostly the still one, obviously not the sparkling one, but this one is kind of like a treat because sometimes I do drink sparkling water. But yeah, we are going through um, six bottles like this every two days. So the math should be mathing somewhere here. That's about this much per week. And if you think about it, you can survive much longer without food than you can without water. So water is pretty essential. And if it's free or almost free, because there's probably some microplastics in those glass bottles as well. But if it's almost free of microplastics, that's way better for your daily hydration and how your body works, because we still don't fully know how the body is reacting to those microplastics, but it's definitely not going to be beneficial. So my current protocol is trying to avoid plastic whenever I can. Obviously, it's not always possible, so some things still come packaged in plastic, but I'm trying whenever I can to get them in glass or if it's vegetables I'm trying to get them just kind of as they are and then put them in a paper bag and one thing that's supposedly working really well to get rid of microplastics in your body is sulforaphane which exists for example in broccoli sprouts and some other forms but I'm taking a supplement just to kind of boost the removal of microplastics you're not gonna remove all of them it's not possible at this point you're not gonna be able to be completely microplastic free but at least we can lower the intake and that's my whole goal with this experiment I just don't want to be plastic man, you know, it's just kind of, it reminds me of that cartoon from my childhood on Cartoon Network of this guy stretching his arms like crazy. I don't want to be that. And that was funny because that cartoon was actually sponsored by the petroleum companies to push plastic to the masses. And now we're in this uh, fun conundrum here. So yeah. And I'm back. I'm going to be doing those uh, weekly five minute roughly videos to talk a little bit about my plan. There is a lot to talk about. Some brief things that I did the last few months is that I greatly improved my sleep. I'm going to talk about this soon as well. I tested both the Whoop and the Apple Watch Ultra and I'm staying with only one of them from January. And yeah, everything is going good. So I hope it's going good with you as well. And I'm going to see you next week. Cheers.